Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Lunatic back again with another gameplay for you guys today. And this time it is a 138 kill flawless game with the Scar H on Aftermath. So definitely uh, switching it up from the raid PDW, raid submachine gun type stuff for you guys. And this map is absolutely horrible. It's just really big. The lines of sight suck. It's really hard to flank the enemy on this map. I really don't like this map, but for some reason this map came up and I saw the lobby and it was a pretty noob lobby and I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay here. I'm going to bust out the Scar H and see what I can pull off. And I, I did pull off a pretty nice gameplay. 138 kills with zero deaths. I think it's like a 40, 45 gun streak or something like that. So the VSAT, the dogs, and the swarm uh, do a lot of work um, on this map. If you call them in at the same time, sometimes they spawn in that building over there. But it's not a big deal. It's uh, still pretty nice gameplay. Hope you guys do enjoy it. But what I want to talk about in this uh, commentary is a TV show I recently saw come on. I think it was Animal Planet. And this TV show is called Rhino Wars. And these four American former Special Forces guys go down there and help the um, help fight poachers from killing these rhinos. And these poachers kill these rhinos for their horns. I think these horns, I think they said on a show they're worth about $300,000 to $350,000 on the black market for a rhino horn. And the uh, the species is endangered. So, you know, killing an uh, animal for its horn is ca kind of uh, bullshit in my opinion. So I thought it was pretty cool that these uh, these former Special Forces guys are going down there and you know help helping the um it's in South Africa actually helping those guys uh you know catch these poachers and try to prevent more rhinos from being killed and I watched the uh the first episode that came on of it and in the episode they're like there's a no shoot policy for poachers they they're not allowed to engage the poachers even though the poachers are there with guns and everything so I thought I was kind of bullshit I was like you know what kill these guys and they won't come back but you know it's I guess it's one of those things that the show really wasn't that good but I think the idea for the show was good um, as far as those uh, those guys going down there and um, helping the uh, the South African authorities you know catch these poachers and stuff so I thought that was pretty cool um, you know if you're interested in stuff like that go check it out but another show that I really do actually enjoy is a show called Whale Wars. And in Whale Wars, it's the Japanese, I, they're, it's basically they're whaling down in Antarctica. The Japanese, there's a Japanese whaling fleet. And there's a international band on commercial whaling. And I guess the Japanese found a loophole where they can kill as many whales as they want and claim it as research. So these guys, these, you know, these tree huggers go down there. They're all volunteers to go down there. They have like a whole little anti-whaling fleet of uh, ships. They, they go down there and um, try to fight off the whalers and they throw stink bombs on them, uh, on the other ships and water cannons. And they try to tie ropes under the uh, propellers and get the boat stuck. And the Japanese have actually been really aggressive the past couple years. They've actually sunk a couple of boats and um, also, they I think they captured a couple of the uh, the anti whaler people, and I don't know that show is actually pretty interesting. And if you like stuff like that, you know, go watch it. I'm not calling myself a tree hugger or anything. You know, I, I have littered and stuff like that. But it, it is a show I do think is um, worth watching, worth uh, checking out. Are those two shows if you if you do enjoy stuff like that. Like I said, but anyway, this was a uh, 138 kills with the Scar H Flawless Zero Deaths. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm out. Peace.